All right, we're fixing to go into all four um, Stevens Transport free trip guide. This is a script that you're going to have to live by. This is your Bible. I'm going to tell you that. You're going to have to memorize this script to pass the test. If you can't get past pre-trip, they won't let you take your driving test. So you have to pass this. So a couple key things to remember. Stay in your zone. Remember what you're, what you're actually studying. They're going to give you four different cards when you do your test. It's A, B, C, and D. A is the front of the vehicle. Just the front. That's the engine, the lights, everything on the front. B is side of vehicle. C is trailer. D is the whole fucking truck. So just, bless you. So just make sure you know everything and you'll be all right. Also, you don't have to touch or get on your knees or anything. You literally are just doing the truck. You're pointing at stuff. Um, say the trailer like this truck right here. You'll be testing on a truck like that. It'll most likely be a, um, a freight liner. Stevens Transport, verbatim, word for word, front of vehicle. Here we go. I will check my clearance and marker lights to make sure they are clean and functional, also amber in color. The headlights are clean and working, both high and low beams. My left and right amber turn signals are clean and functioning. I would separately check the four-way flashers. They are operating properly in amber. My amber reflectors are clean and not damaged. I see no puddles on the ground. It's pulling this down now to inspect the engine. Thank you, sir. Alternator, belt driven, mounted securely. It is not damaged. This is a Kinsworth, right? Yes. So it's the water pump is on this side. I think we're testing in a Freightliner, so it'll be on the other side, the driver's side. Water pump is belt driven and mounted securely. It is not damaged or leaking. Turn in there. The air compressor is gear driven and mounted securely. It is not damaged or leaking air. The power steering pump is gear driven and mounted securely. It is not damaged or leaking. I'm looking for leaks on the side and side and bottom of the engine and transmission. There are no puddles on the ground. All the hoses in, are in good condition and not leaking with no abrasions, bumps, or cuts. The belts have no more than three quarters of an inch play. They're not cracked or frayed. This is the oil dipstick. I will check that the oil level is above the refill mark. The coolant is at the proper level. It is fuel and there are no leaks. This is the power steering fluid. It is above the refill mark and there are no leaks. Steering. The steering box is mounted securely and not leaking. I'm looking for any missing nuts or bolts. The power steering hoses are not leaking and have no abrasion bumps or cuts. On the steering linkage. All the connecting links, arms, and rods from the steering box to the wheel are not worn or cracked. I am checking that all joints and sockets are not worn or loose and that there are no missing castle nuts, bolts, or cotter keys. That's where those are at. Suspension. There are no missing or shifted, missing, shifted, or cracked or broken leaf springs. Both my front and back leaf spring mounts are not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no missing or damaged bushings. The U-bolts are not broken or loose, and they are not missing any nuts. Shock absorber is not loose, and it's not leaking. It's secure, there are no leaks. Brakes. The brake hose has no abrasions, bumps, or cuts. The hose couplings are not leaking any air. The brake chamber is not cracked, dented, or leaking, leaking air, and is mounted securely. There are no loose or missing clamps. The slack adjuster is and push rod is not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no loose or missing parts. The push rod should not move more than one inch when pulled by hand with the brakes released. On the brake drum, there are no cracks, dents, or holes. There are no loose or missing bolts. I am checking for any oil or grease. The brake lining should not be worn dangerously thin. Wheels. The inside and outside of the rim is not damaged or bent. There are no welding repairs and bolt holes are not cracked or distorted. The tread and both sidewalls have no tire have no of uh, the tire have no cuts, bulges, or abrasions. The tread is worn evenly and has a minimum depth of four thirty seconds of an inch. I would use a tire gauge to check for proper inflation of one hundred psi or manufactured specs. The valve stem is not broken or damaged and has a cap. All the lug nuts are present, free of cracks and distortions, and show no signs of looseness, 
such as rust trails or shiny threads. The hub oil seal is not leaking and the oil levels are adequate. That's the front of the vehicle, Stevens Transport. I will check that the mirrors and brackets are not damaged. Mounted securely with no loose fittings. I will check the door is not damaged and that it opens and closes properly. Like so. Oh, God damn it. Perform properly from the outside. The hinges should be secure with seals intact all the way around. The marker lights, left turn signal, and four way flashers are clean and functional. They are also amber. I will check, I will also check the right signal. The dev tank is secured, the cap is tight. There are no leaks from the tank or lines. Also, the level is adequate, at least one eighth of a tank. The fuel tank is secure, the cap is on tight, and there are no leaks from the tanks or lines. Came to another truck to do uh, the inside because that one's on a trailer and it's hard to see. But the torque arm is not damaged and is mounted securely. It's that long bar going across right there. Spring mount is not bent, broken, or cracked. That's it right there. There are no damaged bushings, missing bolts. It is mounted securely. But the leaf spring is not bent, broken, or cracked. It is not shifted. The U bolts. Are, are not broken or loose and are not missing any nuts. The airbag has no abrasions, bumps, or cuts. There are no air leaks and is securely mounted to the frame of the axle. The shock absorber is secure and there are no leaks. The brake hose has no abrasions, bumps, or cuts. The hose and couplings are not leaking air. The brake chamber is not cracked in it or leaking air. It is mounted securely and there are no loose or missing clamps. The slack adjuster and push rod is not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no loose or missing parts. The push rod should not move more than one inch when pulled by hand with the brakes released. On the brake drum, there are no cracks, dents, or holes. There are no loose or missing bolts. I am checking for any oil or gre grease. The brake lining should not be worn dangerously thin. The inside and outside of both rims are not damaged or bent. There are no welding repairs, bolts, holes are not uh, are not cracked or distorted. Tread and sidewalls, both tires have no cuts, bulges, or abrasions. Both treads are worn evenly and have a minimum depth of two thirty seconds of an inch. I would use a tire gauge to prop check for proper inflation of one hundred psi or man manufacturer specs on both tires. Both valve stems are not broken or damaged and have a cap. I would check the spacing between the tires for objects and the tires are not touching. I will check all lug nuts are present, free of cracks and distortions, and show no signs of looseness, such as rust trails or shiny threads. I'm checking the axle seals and make sure they are not leaking. Rear vehicle. The splash guards and mud flaps are not damaged and mounted securely. My tail lights and reflectors are clean and functional and red in color. The left and right turn signals are clean and functional. The four-way flashers and brake lights are red and functioning. The back light is clean and functional. That's it. The air hoses have no cuts, bulges, or abrasions. The hose and couplings are not leaking air and are secure at both ends. The electrical lines are not cut or spliced. The lines are not tangled, pinched, or dragging against any tractor parts. The air and electrical connections are sealed and in good condition. The glad hands are locked in place and free of damage and leaks. The electric plug is firmly seated and locked in place on both ends. The catwalk is solid and clear of objects and securely bolted to the tractor frame. The steps leading to the cab and entry and the catwalk are solid and clear of objects and securely bolted to the tractor frame. The apron is not bent, crooked, or broken. The trailer is lying flat on the skid plate. There's no visible gap. Well, that's what I'm talking about with the apron. It, the trailer would be on here. You wouldn't see any light at all between the skid plate and the apron. The, basically, the bottom and top fifth wheel. You wouldn't see any air there. Nothing. No light. Anything. It should be flat. I'm checking for proper lubrication of the skid plate and that it's securely mounted on the platform 
platform is this little house right here. The little triangle. Uh, it's securely to the platform with all bolts and pins secure and not missing. I am making sure the release arm is in the engaged position, meaning that it is open, ready to be inserted. I think that actually this one is not right. Yeah, that's not right. That's got to be moved. But whatever, we're just pointing and talking. We're not actually checking shit right now. I'm looking for loose or missing mount bolts, brackets, clamps, or nuts all up and down this where it's mounted to the frame. Both sides. Really, you're just staying on one side and pointing and telling them. I will look for loose or missing locking pins inside. They are fully engaged. The air hose has no cuts, bulges, or abrasions. This is the air hose we're talking about. I will look into the throat of the fifth wheel and check that the locking jaw is fully closed around the kingpin and holding it in place. The kingpin has not been bent or damaged. That is it for coupling. Front of trailer. We're going to do trailer now. So the front of trailer is the first one you'll check. I will check the header board for cracks, bulges, or holes. The clear lines are clean, functional, and amber. Side of trailer. All marker lights on the side are clean and functional. They are also amber. All reflective tape is good condition. Amber light reflectors are clean and not cracked. I will check the landing gear is fully raised with no missing parts and the support frame and pads are not damaged. The crank handle is secure. I am on the opposite side. The crank handle is on the driver's side. There's somebody else over there. Just keep that in mind. The frame and cross member and floor have no cracks, broken welds, holes, or other damage. You, you just have to put your finger up under there and you'll be all right. The marker, light, left turn signal, and forward flashes are clean and functional and amber. I will also check the right turn signal. I'm making sure the locking pins are in place and the release arm is secured. Again, that's on the other side. It connects it to the trailer. Suspension. We'll go to the back wheels here. The torque rod is not bent, broken, or cracked and securely mounted. We do not have to crawl under the vehicle. Remember that. You just have to point. There are no missing, shifted, cracked, or broken leaf springs. The front and back spring mounts are not cracked or broken. The U-bolts are not broken, loose, or missing any nuts. The brake hose has no abrasions, bumps, or cuts. The hose and cup leaks are not leaking air. The brake chamber is not leaking, cracked, or dented, and it is mounted securely. There are no loose or missing clamps. The slack adjuster and push rod is not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no loose or missing parts. The push rod should not move more than one inch when pulled by hand with the brakes released. On the brake drum, there are no cracks, dents, or holes. There are no loose or missing bolts. I am checking for any oil or grease. The brake lining should not be worn dangerously thin. That's also on. So now we're doing wheels. Inside and outside of both rims are not damaged or bent. No welding repairs. Bolts or holes are not cracked or distorted. Tread and sidewalls of both tires have no cuts or bulges or abrasions. The treads are worn evenly and have a minimum depth of two thirty seconds of an inch. I will use the tire gauge to check the proper, proper inflation. Remember, stay in your room. Proper inflation, 100 PSI, manufactured specs on both tires. Both valve stems are not broken, damaged, and have a cap. I will check the spacing between the tires for objects that the tires are not touching. And yeah, make sure they ain't touching. You don't want no damn tire fire. All the lug nuts are present, free of cracks and distortions. Show no signs of looseness, such as rust, trails, or shiny threads. The hub oil seal is not leaking. The oil level is adequate. You can see the oil in there a little bit. You see it down there? Yep. Make sure the oil level is adequate. The mud flap is not damaged and mounted securely. There it is right there. Oh my god. Sorry. My legs. I'm on my fucking legs. There it is. Mounted securely. Rear of trailer. My tail lights and identification lights. The identification lights are the three lights on the bottom. Tail lights. And all marker lights. Well, there should be lights up there. There aren't, but. We go right here, marker lights, right? Including the ones on the side and rear are clean and functional and red in color. Left and right turn signals are clean and functional. The four-way flashers and brake lights are functional. The reflective tape and red reflectors are in good condition. The left and right turn signals are clean and functional. The four-way flashers and brakes lights are functional. The reflective tape and red reflectors are in good condition. The door is not damaged. 
which this one kind of is, but whatever. We're just, you know, practicing. Door's not damaged. I'm checking that the door opens and closes and latches properly. 